All right, writer's room time. Guys, it's time for your homework assignment for today. This is, this is our writing homeschool assignment. Let's pitch some jokes for daddy's monologue, all right? So here we go. We're working, we're working, we're working. What do you got right here? What do you got? Give it to me. We can talk about unicorns. Blah, blah, blah. That is not helpful at all. Okay, you, what do you got? Talk about what's happening in sports. Well, there's literally nothing happening in sports. You guys are not helping me. I have, oh, what are they teaching you all in school? I've got to get new writers. It's The Basement Show with your host, Joe Bennett. Oh, hello, yes, hello. I've got frills on. I haven't run out of jackets yet. I forgot. I've got my costume closet. It's Velcro. Do you remember back before quarantine when we used to try to limit our children's screen time? <laughs> that was a crazy time. Now it's more like, kids, go get some screen time because daddy needs his me time. Enough of me talking. Let's get right into it. Please help me welcome our guest for this evening, Megan Bennett. No relation at all. <laughs> Confirm to everyone that we are not related. Joe, we are absolutely not related, and for that I am very thankful. That is a relief. How do you pronounce your name? You know, it's spelled differently. My name is actually not that difficult to pronounce, Joe, and it does not include any special characters like the ampersand or the division symbol, as you often use when you write it. It's not Megan. It's Meg. Megan. Meg. Meg? Meg. So the A isn't silent, is what you're telling me. The A is an important part of it. The A is loud. I wanted to name one of my kids Harry, and then spell it Rebecca, so that when they were in class, the teacher would be like, is there a Rebecca here? Um, actually, you pronounce that Harry, the Rebecca is silent. Your children should be thankful that your wife is an angel, because I don't know where they'd be without her. Megan, where do you work? I work at Clarity Solutions, which is a local crisis pregnancy center uh, in Hardin County and surrounding areas. It's a wonderful organization. You all do normally do a, a fundraiser for Clarity, uh, the Clarity Banquet, which I attend every year. What, what's happening since we can't mass gather? We have taken our event and we have created a virtual event. We're going to be able to present what Clarity has done in the past year, but also share with you an amazing client testimony, an amazing story from our keynote speaker, Stephen Thin Holland, as well as a really exciting announcement from our executive director, Laura. Normally, when I attend the Clarity Banquet, I get food. So will you just be delivering the food to me that night? How does that work? We will not be providing food to you, but you are more than welcome to see what you got in your pantry. When is Clarity Live? April 28th at 7 p.m. ClarityLive.org, as well as Facebook. And we will also be on uh, Channel 2. All right, we're going to play a game. I'm going to show you three pictures. You're going to tell me which picture received the most comments. These are taken from your Facebook page. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so that's our first picture. I always love taking pictures with Megan. And that's also a friend of yeah. the show, Doug Bratcher. In this picture, Megan, it looks like you are either high-fiving or dancing with yourself. 2007, man. It was a different time. And then this picture looks like you just on a regular Sunday morning at church. Which of those three pictures do you think received the most comments? I really think it was going to have to be the selfie with you. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not correct. It was give yourself a high five. Next, you have to tell me which happy birthday message was better. I will show you two birthday messages that you received, and you just have to decide which one was better. That is our first one from friend of the show, Mark yeah. Malone. Or... I'm definitely going with Mark on that one. A, because oh. Mark is just a better person than you. I'm sorry, that is the incorrect answer. The answer we, was, we were looking for was, of course, the one that I wrote. For people that know you, they may be surprised to hear that you're also going to be our musical guest tonight on the show. Well, Joe, I'm actually a master on the recorder. I'm sure you've been practicing and rehearsing for this. Has your husband, Chris, been enjoying your practicing? I've been filling our home with amazing recorder melodies, and my husband has loved every second of it. Let's go to a clip. Let's see if he's enjoyed it. Please enjoy the musical stylings of Megan Bennett. I'm gonna play Hot Cross Buns for you on the recorder. Enjoy. Wow, 
What a performance. That was almost just as good as the Hamilton cast coming together. We'll hope you can join Clarity Live April 28th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's always a really great event. It's gonna look a little different this year. You can have your own banquet. Going forward, we're gonna try to do these twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. We've got an exciting episode coming for you on Monday. I'm very pumped about it. We will see you next time. Thanks, good night. It's called the Jazz Recorder.